Hello everybody and welcome to Expeditions, the newest game in the Mud Runner series. Before we get started, I would just like to thank Saber Interactive for a early access code so I can show you guys this game. It comes out on March 5th, right around the corner. So I hope you guys are excited and I'm very excited to show you guys the game. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Here we are. We are in Expeditions, the newest Mud Runner slash Snow Runner game in the series. Uh, this is actually very fitting because I recently have gotten really into Snow Runner again. So this is very fitting that this is coming out. I have a really good direct comparison to the last release that this uh, developer and publisher released. Uh, before we jump into your first expedition, let's learn the basics of driving. R1, to, our right trigger to start the engine, A, handbrake start moving forward and steering i mean these are all pretty basic controls if you've played a snow runner or mud runner you definitely know the basic controls of this game it looks fantastic just right off the bat looks really good just like it you know their games always have and like i said i just recently got back into snow runner so this is very fitting keep following the quest markers to progress seems like we're gonna get to the garage i believe over here but yeah this is the newest iteration in this series, and I have to say, I've played a little bit of this off camera. Uh, not too much, a little bit. I did make a new game just to kind of show you guys the very beginning. I want everybody to experience this on their own and not through me, but I kind of just wanted to showcase a little bit of this game since I was given a code. I want people to be interested in it. To move further, you will need to engage the all-wheel drive making the traversal of any rough terrain much easier, but at the cost of higher fuel consumption. The engage all-wheel drive, hold right bumper, and hit B. So very similar to SnowRunner, although in SnowRunner, I believe it's left bumper, so they did change the controls a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've played a little bit of this off camera, and it seems like it's not quite what SnowRunner was. Um, and I'll explain that in just a little bit when we get kind of through a little bit of the, these tutorial stages. Um, if you're completely stuck, you must engage the differential lock. This will help a lot in order to do so. You will have to shift to a lower gear. Um, oh, I just accidentally attached my winch. Okay, let's just go ahead and detach that. And we'll go ahead and get over to this marker. But what it seems like Expeditions is compared to, if you want to compare it to their last release, which is SnowRunner, this is a lot more of a slower pace exploration game compared to snow runner was kind of more about like the deliveries i don't know how much of that is going to be in this game like i said i haven't played too much of it just a little bit to know that it's not quite about crossing vast distances it's more about taking your time and exploring the maps and kind of experiencing everything that it has to do um enter exchange mode so on the left is your vehicle's inventory on the right is the resource area select the quest item add it to the vehicle's inventory and close so the quest item is this memory card we'll go ahead and add that back up and turn around is what we're gonna do and we're gonna head out of the swamp and probably back to the garage stage complete what do they want us to do adjusting the pressure depending on the type of terrain reducing uh reducing it will significantly improve traction but at the cost of higher fuel consumption so this is one of the mechanics that is pretty cool you can do actual tire inflation systems which is pretty neat so you have normal pressure reduced pressure and low pressure and you can see that affects your fuel efficiency but it also affects your grip so we're going to leave it kind of right in the middle we're going to leave all-wheel drive on and we're just going to get out of the swamp that we entered and uh head back to the garage i believe but yeah so this one is a lot more it's slower pace it's more designed for you to kind of think about how you're going to get somewhere experience the terrain explore i mean expeditions it's kind of in the name right it's not so much about getting things delivered and kind of completing a lot of quests i believe like i said i haven't experienced a lot expeditions will give will take you across long distances and we recommend taking fuel canisters with you okay hold left bumper and hit a to refuel Alrighty, very nice go to the camp yeah, this one, I assume it's going to be slower paced from what I've experienced. It wasn't like the traditional snow runner of the longer pace, uh, kind of like 
take this big load of whatever to this and unlock this or build this or you know i think this is going to be more about exploring the areas discovering routes at least that's what my understanding is if your vehicle is damaged use spare parts to repair the damaged components so hold left bumper and then you can highlight what you want to repair so like we'll do engine we'll do you know suspension we'll just you know we could just do all of them actually yeah why not okay there we go boom we're good so deliver the found items which is going to be right here age completes and i think that's going to be it deliver supplies interact with the office and we're just going to go ahead and hit deliver and there we go expedition complete three thousand dollars on the first trip select a drop off region little colorado is the perfect place to hone your skills so as you can see there's little colorado there's arizona there's the carpathians and then mod mod regions which is very interesting that that's kind of right there on the on the main screen so mod support is going to be a thing which is going to be very nice um we'll go ahead and we'll just do expeditions are the main missions progress through the game and earn various rewards by completing them we'll just work on doing the very first one so as you can see on the left side it shows kind of just the general rundown of what it is it's an easy difficulty we're traveling about a thousand yards they recommend using an off-road truck height differences and watery terrain okay so we're gonna get two thousand dollars we're gonna get a couple other rewards but you can see the requirements we need a jack screw and a sideboard truck so on the right side is kind of your equipment so we're gonna select an open truck slot this is the list of your vehicles different vehicles are better suited for different types of terrains and expeditions as we know um, so they recommend using a type of off-road the code that I got gave me access to kind of the ultimate edition of the game. So I got access to a lot more trucks. So you might not have all these options from the beginning unless you've purchased that level of game. Um, but as you can see, if you select an off-road truck, we can go into inventory. And one of the things we need to have is a jack screw. So we're going to go ahead and take that. And then we also need to have a um, frame modules we need to have a cargo bed of some sort so we're gonna go we're gonna put that on and i think that's all we technically need of course in here you can add a bunch of different stuff there's anchors so you can kind of set your own winch points if you don't have any uh pathfinders um camera traps camcorders light beacons i'm not quite sure what all of these do like i said i haven't played too much of this um, I really wanted to kind of stick with the what's in the very beginning and I played a little bit past that but not too far and of course in the back you can carry fuel spare parts spare tires it's just all there's there's a bunch of stuff that you could you can apply and then of course in here as well um, you can always go to uh, customize and you can customize your trucks and you can put you know kind of the same thing that you would on any sort of uh, standard um, snow runner vehicle you could do you know bumpers and all this stuff so we got all the required things and the team composition uh this is a list of specialists that are available to you you can hire them to make the expeditions easier or get more benefits from it so if you can see here these are all going to be locked but you can get five plus supply limit 100 percent trunk uh setup radius 30 percent less damage 20 percent less consumption so these are people that you can hire to kind of help and assist in your uh in your expeditions and and see if there's you know things that might be good marked airdrops and drone distances and heights and all this stuff i mean there's a lot of different things uh this guy does a treasure bonus which is the only one we can purchase so we're just going to go ahead and purchase him and have him on the thing so we get 50 percent sell bonus which will be nice uh so we can go ahead and we can just hit deploy and this is going to be the first expedition in uh, Little Colorado, I think it is. And then this is kind of, I consider this the tutorial area. And then, of course, you have um, the two separate regions. And I'm sure they'll end up releasing more regions. And then uh, mod support, too. So eventually you'll have modded regions. And I wonder, I don't know what the mod tools are. But um, in expeditions, you'll need to navigate the train using the minimap. Okay. So open the mini map so as you can see pretty standard to what it used to be in like the snow runner games you can see that we have 
the, our destination right over here. So we're going to go over there. We're kind of already stuck. So we're going to use all wheel drive. They do say that co-op multiplayer is coming. It won't be available on the initial release, but it will be available eventually. So I'll be very interested in seeing how that turns out. I'm going to spend a little more time in this game. Uh, once I do this video, I'll spend a little bit more time and kind of get a little more familiar with it. Um, so we need to pick up the radio station. Okay. Use the echo sounder to determine the depths of the water bodies you are about to cross. Okay. So open up the device menu and then the, so you have winch, binoculars, drone, and echo sounder. Echo sounder shows these little markers in the water that show, oh boy, like where, okay. Nope. We don't want this one. There we go. So it kind of shows what water is too deep and what isn't, which is pretty cool. Some very useful tools, I feel like, that would be very nice to have in, you know, the snow runners or the mud runners that I played previously, but it's nice to see that there's that's happening in this game. So it'll be very interesting to see how these tools help utilize uh your your uh your expeditions and how different people or different equipment is gonna change your uh your perspective. What I think is really cool too is as you can tell. Once I picked up that that radar, I now have it like physically loaded on the back and it's like covered by a tarp. So it's pretty cool that depending on the amount of equipment that you're hauling, it changes kind of what your what's in the bed of your truck, which is pretty neat. Like physically looking at it, explore the nearby mountain range using the drone. All right, let's go ahead and use the drone. So this part's pretty cool. You can fly around with the drone and kind of get a good visual of where you need to end up going. So you can see like lots of rock around here. So we're gonna have to drive pretty much to like over this way down through here and kind of cross up over here. Cause that's where we're at. So we're gonna have to climb and go all the way to the top. So I think they want us to fly over here though with the drone specifically. All righty, find a path to climb. So yeah, I don't know if they, I don't think they want us to use the drone to do this. No, they definitely don't. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just start climbing this. We already know the path that we want to take. So yeah, there's a lot of cool tools that I think are going to help the expeditions. But another reason why I, I haven't seen, at least in the little Colorado kind of introductory area, I haven't seen much uh, roads like paved roads. And I feel like this one is going to be very different than the traditional like snow runners that we've experienced in the past. I think this is going to be a lot more slower pace. Uh, use the winch to get out of trouble. We can easily do that. So we're going to go ahead and go over here to the left. We're going to winch up and then go up and over if we can. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. Get it. Mm, there we go. Nice. All right, stage complete. What are we doing now? You can also find the winch in the device menu. So you can use it in here too as well if you don't want to use the quick winch. And we need to install the radio station. But yeah, I think at least in the little Colorado map, it doesn't look like it's going to be a thing about delivering cargo. This is going to be a lot more of exploration, which I think will be really cool. And I'm really excited to see what they end up doing with it. Okay, we will go ahead and deliver supplies. Radio station complete. Look around using the binoculars. So let's go ahead and head over here. As you can see, that's the radio station, which is pretty cool. Park right here, and then we'll go into devices. Yep, binoculars are a great way to explore the map and find useful places or convenient paths for the vehicle to pass. Uh, open the mini map, looked at the marked area on the map, and then scout it. Okay, so they want us to look over here. All right, now go into the binoculars, and then you can zoom in a new airdrop we can easily zoom very far in you'll be able to look around and see like oh well if i cross here you know i can't really climb there with the rocks i can maybe go up there and kind of come around but yeah i think this is going to be this is why i have the feeling that this is going to be a lot more slower pace and uh kind of direct with your movements of like yeah no i do want to I, I need to go here to go here and you know stuff like that so using the drone you can discover unexplored paths on the map 
Okay, use the drone to find all the marked areas. All right, so let's go ahead and take the drone up. They want us to discover something over here. It looks like there's a crossing right there that we can take. You've discovered a new airdrop. Look at that. All right, stage complete. We explored everything, get to the next point, which is gonna be right here. Stage complete. At any time during the expedition, you can recover your vehicle to the field base. Open up the mini map, find and choose a location. And we want to be, uh, we want to choose that and we can recover. Boom. There we go. And there we go. Expedition complete. $2,000. We got a truck. We got an outpost. Take less than 200 damage, which we did. This is just a breakdown of what we did, how much we earned items sold, you know, anything like that. Head back into the headquarters. And then all the regions are unlocked now after you complete that first one in Little Colorado. Um, of course, this is like the tutorial area. And as you can see, there's only five expeditions, but there's 37 in Arizona, 37 in Carpathians, and then modded regions. There's nothing, but we'll get to that eventually once the game releases. And there's a lot more to do. But you can see like uh, expeditions that you can do and you can see that there's quite a bit more to do once you get into the bigger maps and it looks like there's quite a bit of content here so i think like i've been trying to say and like i've been saying since the beginning i'm going to back out to the main menu but i think they're going a different direction with this game i don't think this is going to be a standard snow runner experience with it being about delivering cargo or traveling vast distances or having multiple regions or something like that this is a lot more slower pace. It's a lot more planned out. It's a lot more exploration, taking your time, finding your route, using your tools, uh, planning your expeditions, finding good equipment, using all. I think it's going to be a lot more kind of planned, planning your routes and your expeditions, which I think will be really cool. I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys are excited for Expeditions, the newest Mudrunner game. Like I said, it comes out on March 5th. Co-op will not be released on the initial release, but it will be eventually. Uh, I don't know when, so just keep an eye out for any news about the co-op being released, but this will have co-op eventually. Uh, and then, of course, we'll get into mods and stuff. I'll definitely make a video about this again in the future. If any of you are interested, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me do more of this, if you want to see me do the standard expeditions or if you want to see me do mods or if you want to see me do co-op definitely let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you're going to pick this up i'm actually kind of interested to see if people are interested in this or if you're going to kind of stick with the mud runner or snow runner and you're not really you're going to kind of skip this one but interested to see what people say as of right now i haven't put that much time into it but i think this game does have pretty good potential with just providing a different experience i don't think it's going to be anything that's going to be game changing but i think it'll be different enough that i'm interested in trying it and putting some time into it like i said i'm going to do that off camera but yeah let me know what you guys want to see down below in the comments i appreciate you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye